What if one of the most debated populations in modern history also carried one of the oldest continuous genetic signatures on Earth? For decades, historians, archaeologists, and political commentators have argued over the past of the Palestinian people. Some claim their roots are recent, others insist they stretch back thousands of years. But until recently, there was no way to test these claims scientifically. Now, modern genetics has changed everything. Using ancient DNA extracted from skeletons buried thousands of years ago, scientists are uncovering a story that challenges assumptions, rewrites timelines, and forces us to look at the ancient Levant in a completely new way. This is not a political story. This is not a religious argument. This is a scientific journey into deep human history. And by the end of this video, you may never look at the past of the Levant the same way again. Can DNA really tell us where Palestinians come from? At first, the idea seems impossible. How can a modern population be connected to people who lived four, five, even 10,000 years ago? The answer lies in population genetics. Unlike written history, which is shaped by empires and power, DNA records biological continuity. It shows who stayed, who mixed, and who survived, even when names, languages, and borders changed. Over the past two decades, scientists have extracted ancient DNA from burial sites across the Levant, modern-day Palestine, Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. These samples span the Neolithic period, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, and beyond. When researchers compared this ancient DNA to the modern genomes of populations, including Palestinians, the results were striking. But to understand them, we need to go back, far back, to the very beginning. The first people of the Levant. Long before the rise of kingdoms, religions, or written language, the Levant was already home to human civilization. Around 10,000 years ago, Neolithic farming communities emerged in this region. These early peoples were among the first farmers on earth, domesticating wheat, barley, and goats. They built permanent villages and laid the foundations of civilization itself. Genetic evidence shows that these early Levantine farmers formed a distinct population, separate from Europeans, Africans, and East Asians. And here is the first key finding. Modern Palestinians share a significant genetic continuity with these ancient Neolithic Levantine populations. This means that despite thousands of years of conquest and migration, a large portion of the ancestral population never disappeared. They stayed. The Canaanites, a genetic anchor. As history moved forward, these early farming communities evolved into the Bronze Age civilizations known collectively as the Canaanites. The Canaanites lived across the Levant between roughly 3000 and 1200 BCE. They built cities, traded across the Mediterranean, and spoke early Semitic languages. For centuries, the Canaanites were known only through archaeology and ancient texts, but recently, scientists extracted DNA from Canaanite skeletons found in sites like Sidon, Megiddo, and Ashkelon. When this DNA was compared to modern populations, one discovery stood out. Modern Palestinians show one of the highest genetic continuities with Canaanite populations among all groups tested in the region. This does not mean Palestinians are pure Canaanites. No population is pure. But it does mean that a substantial portion of their ancestry traces back directly to the Bronze Age inhabitants of the Levant. In other words, the people did not vanish when empires fell, they endured. A land of conquest, not replacement. 
The Levant is one of the most conquered regions in human history. Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, and Ottomans all ruled this land at different times. History books often give the impression that each conquest replaced the population before it, but genetics tells a very different story. When scientists examined paternal and maternal genetic markers in Palestinians, they found deep continuity rather than repeated population replacement. Conquerors ruled, empires governed, but local people remained. Most invasions involved small ruling elites, not mass migrations that wiped out the existing population. The DNA stayed rooted in the soil. What about Arab ancestry? One of the most common assumptions is that Palestinians descend mainly from Arab tribes who arrived during the Islamic expansions of the 7th century. Genetics tells a more nuanced story. Yes, Palestinians do show Arabian Peninsula genetic input, particularly on the paternal line, but this input is moderate, not dominant. Instead of replacing the population, Arab migrations mostly mixed with an already ancient Levantine population. This explains why Palestinian DNA clusters closely with other Levantine groups, such as Lebanese, Syrians, and Druze, rather than with populations from the deep Arabian desert. Language and culture changed faster than genes. A shared Levantine genetic core. When scientists mapped genetic relationships across the Middle East, a pattern emerged. Palestinians consistently cluster with ancient Levantines, Bronze and Iron Age populations, other long settled Levantine groups. This shared genetic core predates Islam, Christianity, Judaism. Arabic, Greek, Latin. It belongs to the land itself. This means modern identities formed on top of ancient populations, not instead of them. The Iron Age and Biblical Period During the Iron Age, the Levant was home to many closely related groups, Israelites, Philistines, Phoenicians, Arameans, and others. Genetically, these populations were far more similar than different. Recent studies show that Iron Age Levantines shared a common genetic foundation with regional variations. Modern Palestinians still carry this foundation today. This challenges simplified narratives that treat ancient groups as completely separate peoples. In reality, they were branches of the same ancestral tree. The Myth of Disappearance One of the most persistent myths in history is that ancient Levantine populations vanished. Genetics proves they did not. They changed names. They adopted new religions. They spoke new languages. But biologically, they remained. Palestinian DNA reflects layer upon layer of history. Neolithic farmers, Canaanites, Iron Age peoples, Roman era inhabitants, and later Arab influences. This is not a story of sudden arrival. It is a story of continuity. Identity beyond DNA. Scientists are careful to make one thing clear. DNA does not define identity, culture, memory, Language and shared experience matter just as much as genetics. But DNA does tell us something powerful. The people of the Levant are deeply rooted in their land, far deeper than modern borders or political narratives suggest. Palestinians are not an abstract concept. 
they are the living descendants of thousands of years of uninterrupted human presence. What science actually reveals about the ancient genetic roots of the Palestinians? They reveal that Palestinians carry strong genetic continuity with ancient Levantine populations. Their ancestry predates recorded history. Later migrations added layers, not replacements. The land's people survived every empire that ruled them. This is not ideology. It is data. And it reminds us of something often forgotten. History is not just written by victors. It is written in chromosomes. A Living Archive of the Ancient World The Levant is one of humanity's oldest homes, and in the DNA of its people, that ancient story still lives. Every generation carried it forward through war, exile, conversion, and change until it reached the present day. Science is only beginning to decode this story. And as new discoveries emerge, one truth becomes harder to deny. The past is never truly gone. It lives on, quietly, inside us. If you found this exploration eye-opening, leave a comment and share your thoughts. Subscribe for more science-based journeys into ancient human history because the greatest discoveries are not buried in ruins, they are written in us.